Hey YouTube, I'm going to show you today how to create proxies. Proxies are used when you are working through your project, you've got a bunch of animations going on, and everything is moving so slow that you can barely even work on your stuff. So you use proxies to temporarily turn animations into still images while you work on other elements of your project. I'm going to show you how to do it here. Here I have all these different balls, circles of light in this animation, and all of them are separate animations and all these paths are separate animations and with that many animations going on at once it's a pretty heavy load on my computer so when I'm just working on a separate little path or on a ball of light it makes it really hard to work on it because I have so many other animations going on at once the load times are just ridiculous so in a case like this I would want to turn all of these individual animations into proxies so I'll show you how this is done. What you want to do is take all the animations you're not using and make sure that they are at the point where they appear on screen or where you want them to be. Because if you do the proxy at this point where they're not yet on the screen, they'll stay off the screen. Because the still image of the proxy will happen wherever you're at in the timeline that you put it in the render queue. So I'm going to slide all the way till they're all on there. And then what I'm going to do is find them up in my project panel. And an easy way to do this is to find it down here and then right click on it and choose reveal layer source in project. And there it is. So you right click there in the project panel on it and choose create proxy still. And that will add it to your render queue. And I'm just going to add the other couple ones that I wanted to put into my render queue, create proxy still, and there's one more, let's see, yeah, just one more, so then I'm going to also create a power proxy out of this path, right click, still, so now you have the three things you've added into your render queue, the animations, in my case I've already added all the rest of these, you'd want to add all the ones that you need to be uh, proxies, and then you just press render. You don't have to do any special settings down here. And let After Effects do its work. It's pretty quick because it's just turning them into still images. And you'll see it's done just like that. Now that your renders have finished, um, you can look over here and see now this path up here that I was animating that was taking a really long time to load. If I press this, it will now load almost instantly because all the other animations aren't going as fast. And I know I'm probably not giving you a great example here of how much faster it's loading, but you'll see the difference when you do your own project. But I'll show you here real quick how you can turn these proxies on and off. So currently if I try to load here, the only thing that is loading is this single little path that I have moving down from these two circles. That's the only animation that's still live. All the rest are still images. But if I want to bring all of these back on, so that they're moving again, all you do is you come back over to your project panel and you'll see now a little square has appeared next to your composition that you turn into a proxy. It's as simple as all you have to do is just unclick all the little squares next to the pre-comps in your project panel and that will automatically turn it back into its original state. And I'm not going to do all of them, but as you can see here, I'll try to load it again and you'll see that the uh, load time is, is a lot slower now that I have this one and this one and this one all animating again. See? There you go. Now it's getting real slow. So there you have it and that's how you do the proxies and remember to switch them on and off here and it's a great tool to have to speed up your workflow. Thanks for watching.